You should fight CM Punk, man. I think that would be a pay-per-view buy. <laughs> <laughs> of the revenue the ufc they're making less than 20 how crazy is that yeah it's mad i think like the and ufc is like good in a way to like promote like you know like the fighters who like who can fight but they do not have their personality to sell themselves and that's why ufc yeah. is there to like if you were when you go to the ufc i know you're gonna like get big because you can talk the talk i was checking uh, <laughs> you can talk the talk and walk the walk <laughs> I was checking you uh, being interviewed by CM Punk and he mispronounced your name. And you're like, that, that's like an iconic moment. You're like, say my name, Punk, say my name. <laughs> yes, yo, you know what's funny? You're, everybody keeps talking about that now, man. And like, I just hope in years back, we look back on that moment. Like, I don't know if you watch pro wrestling, but I hope we look back on it like Stone Cold Steve Austin when he said his Austin 316 moment, man. Like, like get my name right and say it right baby come on yeah you know? like like i'm sure like americans like it must be hard for them to pronounce it they also like pronouncing yeah. ghana wrong they like naganu we got the ph sound in in america so the ph is actually sound sounded out with an f sound yeah you know in, in south africa and africa it's just a ph just a p sound you just roll right through it baby the h is silent you know what i'm saying so <laughs> The amount of times I'm called Fumi on a <laughs> daily basis is crazy. You know what I'm saying? But so that's why I just got to make it a point, man. Like, is Turbo Pumi Nkuta saying my name right, CM Punk? You know? Yeah. Yeah. You should fight CM Punk, man. I think that would be a pay per view buy. <laughs> yeah, so I talked to him after the fact. He was actually really cool about it. Yeah. He said that the promo was killer, though. So that's it. If that guy says your promo is good, CM Punk, one of the kings of the promo world, then I guess you're doing something right. Uh, what do you think about pro wrestling right now? Because I think UFC has surpassed it at the moment. Because during lockdown, lockdown, like during lockdown, like UFC was the only sport. And I think it just like blew up bigger than ever during that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it, it blew up, man. It got huge. It was like, it literally was the only sporting event going on for a while, man, which is, is pretty crazy. But, um, I will, I will say this, I I think UFC has surpassed pro wrestling, but I honestly think, man, as time goes on, they're becoming more more and more the same. You know what I'm saying? You look at look at guys like Conor McGregor. That guy is a fighter, yeah, but bro, he's he's a, he's a sports entertainer. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. that guy, he's there to scrap. He's there to make people want to watch him. Right? Same thing with you know Nate Diaz. Now look at that guy. I mean. The guy lost essentially, what was it, a 25? He literally lost probably about 24 minutes <laughs> of a 25-minute fight, lands two punches, and it's all anybody remembers is all anybody can talk about. And now he has his own persona going on. He had his own BMF belt. They made a whole pay-per-view for that guy. You know what I'm saying? There's, a, there's an entertainment aspect of this sport now that I think if you really want to reach the elite level, if you want to get to that, that point, you know, that Conor McGregor point, or even just be a big star in general, you might have to, I'm not even saying you got to not be yourself, obviously be yourself, but put yourself out there, man. Don't be afraid to freaking be who you are and be flamboyant, be rim, you know, just be you, be, be a louder version of you, man. And, and that's something I, I do. At the end of the day, there's, there's times when I'm humble for sure. But man, I'll be the first one to tell you I'm one of the best in the world, baby. And I'm I'm one of the best guys holding this belt who have ever held this belt and nobody's taking this belt from me. You know what I'm saying? Like at the end of the day, you can be humble, but still be able to tell the world how good you are. And, and I think that's a little bit of the entertainment aspect that a lot of these MMA fighters are bringing from pro wrestling. You know, that's why you're starting to see, man, a lot of these guys now, like Diaz has his own thing with, you know, the smoking and all that kind yeah. of stuff. Connor has his own thing. You know what I'm saying? Like people, you know, even Jorge Masvidal, he had his own thing. And Street it's not like Jesus. these guys are being, yeah, yeah. And it's not like these guys are being fake. Like you, you talk to Jorge Masvidal. Was he always that guy behind the camera? Nah, but, or was he always that guy on the camera? No, but behind the camera, he's more or less the same dude. Gregor, they say, you know, um, I had a guy who was on um, his seasonal ultimate fighter. James Jenkins, 
He was actually, I believe he was on his team. And he was even saying, like, when he would see Connor, he was himself off camera. But then when that camera was on, oh, he dialed it up, baby. You know what I'm saying? He dialed it up. It's like, same way I'm sure with all these guys, man. Like, it's all right to be humble. You can be yourself. But look, man, that camera comes on. It's on for a reason. You got to let the world know why you deserve to be on camera, why you deserve to have these moments, have this belt. You know what I'm saying? And, um, yeah, man, I think uh, at this stage of the game, you know, the people who are doing that stuff, and I'm not even saying this is a good thing in this regard, but the people who are doing those things are really going to start getting the opportunities over the people who aren't. And, that, and you know, you already kind of see that with guys like, like a guy like Conor McGregor and a guy like Frankie Edgar. A guy like Frankie Edgar deserved that 145-pound opportunity for a very long time. Why, you know, why did he get it late? Because there's a dude named Conor McGregor in the mix, you know what I'm saying, who got hot-shotted to the top. Wrestling, pro wrestling, and MMA are becoming one and the same. Whether it's a good thing or a bad thing, I guess time will tell, but these are the facts. Yeah, Colby Covington, he, like, did it best. Like, he turned, like, WWE heel with the whole that's, Trump that's supporter kind of gimmick that he did. And, like, people absolutely, like, really hate him in real life because of that. And I think he just he's now making way more money than he was before. Not only way more money, but, I mean, they want to give this guy a title opportunity off of one win against, you know, Tyron Woodley, who I think before that fight, what, lost 10 rounds? Or something like that, like you know what I'm saying. So, look, man. At the end of the day, and I'm not even saying like I'm saying, don't not be yourself. Be yourself. You don't want to be like Kevin Lee, where you all of a sudden you start acting like some gangster all of a sudden. You know what I mean? And and it's like, whoa, where did that come from? You're not even playing the part right. You know what <laughs> I mean? Be yourself. But look, man, you want these opportunities. Look, and I this is how I explained it for someone. To be the best in the world now at this stage of the game, the world has to be watching you. You know what I'm saying? And um, you, know, you look at a guy like Mighty Mouse, a dude threw a dude up into the air and stole his arm out of the sky. But Dana White looked at him and was like, people don't want to watch you fight. We're going to get rid of your division. Imagine that, man. Like, you do something that amazing and your boss says, we kind of want to fire you. At that point, what are you going to do except being fired? Nah, man, you better you better get up there and talk about how good you are. You know what I'm saying? You better you better earn your keep, man, because at the end of the day, I get it. These companies do have to make money. These companies do have to sell a show. So if you help them make some money, they'll help you give you uh, they'll help give you an opportunity. Now, is that the best way it should go? You know, not exactly, because, you know, then you'll get a guy like Marvin Hagler who might be overlooked for sure. But. Look, man, at the end of the day, I think there can be a good balance of the best guys getting the opportunities, but also the most entertaining guys, you know, who are also the best guys getting their spot, too, and just duking it out because he was the best. That's what the sport's for, man. Mano y mano. Pussy was the best. If a guy's talking trash and he says he's that good, put him up against somebody and see if he's that good. If somebody's humble, put him up against a, a, a flamboyant, you know, talker and see if he can actually last in the in the in the mental warfare that is you know the the trash talking because i'll tell you what man say whatever you want about conor mcgregor getting hot shot to the belt he broke jose aldo mentally you yeah. know what i'm saying he broke yeah. eddie as men you know what i'm saying so some degree this shit works catch full episodes of into the muse on spotify Anchor FM and Apple Podcasts. Into the Muse on Spotify. Anchor FM.